what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? 16-year-old Kaylee Mills was traveling with some friends to a Halloween party in Houston on October 28th of last year when she took off her seatbelt briefly to snap a quick selfie. The car was involved in a single rollover wreck and Kaylee, sitting in the back seat, was ejected from the vehicle. She was the only passenger who died and was just 500 yards from her home. Harris County deputies say that they suspect the driver of the vehicle was speeding and lost control of the vehicle. Her parents have since launched a foundation in her name to inform people to continue wearing their seat belts. The name of that foundation, if you're interested in donating or helping out in any kind of way, is called Kaylee Mills Foundation. Her parents say although she normally followed the law, she unfastened her seat belt to take a picture with her friend. The parents also said that they don't know why this happened. Sorry, mom and daddy, but it probably had something to do with the fact that her friend was speeding and she didn't have a seatbelt on because everybody else survived the car wreck. Let me tell you something. Kids in a loaded vehicle is trouble, 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 always trouble. Because most kids just don't know how to exercise responsibility when they have multiple people, children, in the vehicle. Kids get together and everything is funny. Everybody want to play. It's jokey joke. It's singing. It's a bunch of distractions. And the more kids that you have inside of that vehicle, the greater the chances of something dangerous happening. I'm telling you this from experience. That's why when I started driving early on, well, I, I actually didn't roll deep for two reasons. One, distractions. Two, the police tend to pick on you when you are driving a vehicle occupied three, four, five times. So I always rolled light, except on a couple of occasions where I actually was riding heavy and had a wreck because I was distracted. People talking, people singing, you're looking over here, you're looking back there, you know, all of this stuff. And, and just like that, your life could change. So this is just a heads up to some of you out there. I know that, you know, y'all already know this. I'm sure that Kaylee and her friends had been told and warned time and time again. I'm sure they've heard about other teenagers dying because most of the time when these kids get their licenses, before they get them, they're drilled by their parents. They're drilled by those uh, driver's ed teachers. You know, they watch film of accidents and kids and accidents where they kids end up dead or maimed. And somehow, man, it just don't click with people. It is very dangerous to play with a car. Tell my son all the time, he love cars. Tell him first and foremost, safety first. This is a nice car, but you're gonna drive that vehicle. Don't get caught up in, in being fly and looking cool and all of that stuff and the fact that you're driving a nice vehicle. Safety first. Make sure that you get to where you're going in one piece and you get back 
to which you came from in one piece. You can't stress this enough. Speeding definitely contributed to her friend uh, having the wreck. Speeding alone is, is a violation of the law. So that's two violations, speeding and the fact that she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. I know a lot of times people don't wear seatbelts when they ride in the back seat. I'm one of those people who put my seatbelt on. I just, I, I gotta wear it, man. I just, I'm an odds type person, right? So when I look at the odds and, well, the odds, <laughs> and people say over and over again, the information keeps coming back that people wear their seatbelts are less likely to die in an accident or get seriously injured. Uh, those are pretty good numbers to me. So I tend to err on the side of caution and go ahead. Now I'm put the seatbelt on. It's just gonna give me a better chance just in case I do get in a wreck. Cause it ain't always about me. You know, I could be driving and I could be a great driver, but the person that's, you know, driving the other car could be a horrible driver. That's why they call it defensive driving. You got to be on the defense when you're out there on that road. You got to be watching, man. You got to, you got to be looking, watching these fools out here. fools all over, man. So I actually drive like somebody's trying to run me over. I know some of y'all think that's a bit extreme, but it helps me to stay cautious. It keeps me on point, keeps me alert, you know. Just like when you drive down the street and somebody veer into your lane. Now you, you're in the right. You're just driving, you're doing a, you know, you're going to speed limit and everything and you're in your lane, it's established, you just drive. And you, there's a car on the side of you and that car is in its lane. So you're thinking everybody going to do what they're supposed to do. And all of a sudden this fool just, whoo, just coming to your lane without looking or come into your lane because they're distracted oftentimes by a damn cell phone. Because almost every time somebody starts driving erratic or crossing the line and stuff like that, I peer into their car and sure enough, their asses are on that damn phone. Man, so be careful out there, y'all. Be careful. Man, man, man. Social media strikes again. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?